so this is my night routine as a pregnant, well, third trimester, whatever. Um, normally, well, it's already way too late, but normally I like to do some kind of tidying up right before I go to bed, which never has like a, I mean, it's, it's very purposeful in that my house is cleaner when I wake up in the morning, but it's never like a set space. It usually ends up being like the living room, dining room, or not dining room, kitchen area. But tonight it just so happens to be the bathroom because that's what I have time to do. Um, I've just had kind of a busy day. So I sprayed like the counters down or whatever. But that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just cleaning the bathrooms. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> so as I wipe down the counters. Um... This is just something that I do really quickly right before I go to bed because I like to have a very neat house. It's not always that way, but, you know, it's something I strive for. And I like to use a sanitizing spray, so I use these microfiber um, cloths that I got from Grove. And you can hear Darius in the background because she goes to bed when I go to bed. Frankly, that's just that's just the way it is. Ignore the mess over there and there. It's life. Okay, so I'm officially done with my little tidy up. And now I'm, I usually get her dressed, like changed into her jammies. Hey, I think the hard day. Bye. <laughs> down here. Come here. Play. Come over here, please. Okay. okay. Let's come right here. Hey, I got three She's into these jammy with the two things. With you. This my phone. This. That's his phone. That's my phone. Come here. But yeah, she's really into these feet things now. Um, stop. Come here. And she always does this to me, too. I do this. Oh, thank you. What do you say? Excuse me. Gosh. Excuse me. So, yeah, it doesn't have a whole lot to do with pregnancy, but at the same time, um, having, like, a good routine with her is going to help me with the other baby, oh, I feel baby. like. Yeah, with baby brother, right? Baby brother. Even though it's not, like, a conventional routine because... I know a lot of people put their kids to bed at you know, 8.30 on the dot, and that really works well for them. But that does not work well for us because our schedule has been so crazy. I mean, Ben owns his own business, I own my own business, and we both do a lot of stuff at the church and just all kinds of things. So it's never really set in stone when we're going to be home and stuff. And she has adapted hey, to that Jimmy. really well. Hey, look. Hey, look. <laughs> Flamingos. Flamingos, yeah. Flamingos. So, yeah, I'm going to get my jammies on, too. Say jammies. The jammies dog. That's her favorite ones, the jammy dog ones. So, yeah. Changing my jammies. Usually, she also gets her little uh, vitamin. This is the one that I give her. It's a Smarty Pants toddler formula. But she also has another one that's like raw foods. So she takes that one first in the kitchen. And then she takes her gummy vitamin in here. And she reminds me every single night. Because she's really into her vitamin. <laughs> but she already had it. So. That's mommy. That's Ben's office. Pop that's mommy. That. Yes. She's showing that's me all the pictures. That's my daddy. Yeah. Anyway. So then at this point. We go do our like legitimate nighttime routine. And that mostly happens right here. Cause you know, I like skincare, tooth brushing, et cetera. Teeth brushing, tooth brushing, I don't know. But we do that together. It's kind of our little thing. So we do that. Also, I should mention, she has this little stump. Right here for a second. I found this at TJ Maxx for like 20 bucks and it's 
cute and uh, wooden and metal and it's pretty sturdy. So that's her little stool. But that's how we do that. So we're gonna get into our routine. So. Ow. Okay, so now that I'm done with like my face, um, I always try to put stuff on my belly and I'm going to use 40 cure cream. So I use 40 cure cream usually at night and then I use oil like after showering or whatever. And this is still like the old, not old form, it's kind of an old formula, but it's the old packaging. So normally it comes in a tube now. Um, way too much but I'm not gonna show y'all my belly I'm sorry I'm just not that brave so I just rub it in really well and then I usually like tuck my shirt in and let it dry really good because obviously I don't want to just put it on for nothing um, but this 40 cure cream was actually helping to heal the stretch marks that I had from her but this baby has moved so he actually moved above my belly button and was like sitting there and so I, I wasn't bringing it up far enough so some of them did extend which stinks because i was making really good progress with them right before that but you know it's fine he's worth it and all that stuff it's just not the most fun thing to deal with. It's like, he just stays like right here. Oh, you ain't gonna be dead. Okay. So, at this point.
point. I have a couple other things I always do in that, so yeah. Put your nails. So before I put her in her bed, we always read a Bible story. We're on this one right now. We've already read through a different one twice, so we decided to change it up. Uh, your bread? Yeah. Now that I don't know. Just come sit down and we'll get it in a minute. We'll get it after we read, okay? It's morning. She sits in my lap usually. It's she always wants to do it herself, but I know. do myself. We're I just have to pray. I just have to pray. It's time to pray, and we'll see y'all in a minute. All right, Miss Briss is in bed, and it was not an easy night for some reason. Probably because I'm filming, and that's just the way it works. But um, I always fill up my diffuser. This is one I got on Amazon for like twenty bucks, and this is my filling up my diffuser mug that my friend Liz got me. Here we go. It holds a, a good amount, so it like lasts a long time. I hate those diffusers that like don't even last through the knot. There's that. And then here is my little oil collection. I say little, it's kind of large. Um, I don't know what I wanna do. Probably stress easy, cause you know, I'm about to have a baby and such. This is the Revive one. It's like the Revive version of Stress Away. Um, let's see if I can get this open now. Yeah, okay. I'll get a view of my baskets and my jewelry dish from FabFitFun Box that my FabFitFun Box from like forever ago. That is overflowing. You're not really supposed to shake bottles, by the way, but this one always wants to be really slow about um dropping probably because of the vanilla in it but anyway i do about 20 drops i would say because it's such a large reservoir a smaller one you don't need that much but yeah i really like this blend it smells like um it's like a little bit citrusy a little bit vanilla -y. it smells really good there's that and yes, those are pull-ups. She wears pull-ups at night because, you know, just in case. Okay, so that's done. And then I always take this stuff that I got from DJ Maxx one day. It just said de-stress and I was having a stressful day that day. And I smelled, smelled it and I was like, oh my gosh, that smells so good. So I just like do a good spritz. And then I always spritz her pillow too. Yep, here you go. She likes to do what mommy does, you know. Sometimes I will take this massage gun and like go over my, um, what do you call it? Lower back, like sciatica area. And then when I'm really being good, I set my alarm clock. I haven't been good in a while. And I also usually work out before I even start any of this, but you know, it's gotten to that point in pregnancy where I'm exhausted and I haven't been working out. And that is my silk pillowcase that I also got from Amazon. If y'all are interested, let me know. Okay, so turn the light out. It's going to get dark. But I should just probably turn that back on for this part. So now I usually would get in the bed. And sometimes I'll read, sometimes I'll scroll on my phone. When Ben comes into bed, he always, without fail, turns the TV on and it drives me nuts. So, I prefer to, like, read or something, but, you know, I am married, so I have to kind of, like, compromise and crap, but anyway, that's it. Then I'm gonna, you know, chill on the bed. I don't have a pregnancy pillow this time around because I had just gotten rid of it, like, mm, a month or so before I found out that I was pregnant. And I didn't want to buy another one. And I had plenty of like regular pillows. So I just used my normal pillow and put it between my knees. And like sometimes like I'll put it up uh, under my belly. So 
yeah it's real life this is like i feel like this is a normal people nighttime routine but at the same time maybe not i don't know but yeah it was interesting to actually put on video because i'm probably gonna get judged for the fact that i have you know not a set bedtime for my kid and other things but whatever it's real life so anyway i hope y'all enjoyed the video i really meant to film more videos but all the footage on my phone got deleted a couple months ago and i got really upset about it and uh like i lost footage of her and like from when she was born and when i told ben about the second baby just all the videos that there were on my phone from like the past I don't know four years or something were gone so that was that was really upsetting and I had a lot of footage like to put together for YouTube so yeah I don't know what I'm doing with YouTube and videos and stuff it was it's harder than I thought it was um to film videos because it requires like different angles and stuff if I want it to look good and I don't know I don't know I don't know what I'm doing with it so I'll figure it out but anyway I hope y'all enjoyed this video if you didn't I'm sorry <laughs> but I'll see y'all sometime um I'll probably like read a devotion I like to read the daily grace blog posts and yeah hopefully go to sleep but yeah I'll see y'all next time